Hello, Joe Brady here again, and today what I want to work on is the healing sound for the most common emotion in America today. <laughs> What's the most common emotion in America today? Um, anger, resentment, and frustration. If you don't believe that, um, after, after class today, you can go drive in your car and turn on AM radio and flip from one station to another, and you can hear one angry person after another after another shouting into the radio. Anyway, the healing sound, the Chinese noticed that over centuries, and if you look in any culture at any time frame in history, when people are angry, resentful, and frustrated, they make a common sound. They make an SH sound. So they make a sound like sh shoot, or sh sugar, or sh shucks, or you can add whatever syllable you want on the end there, you get the idea. Anyway, if you take and you practice your healing sound for, it's the healing sound for the liver. And I always thought this was interesting that the Romans as well as the Chinese both had the idea that anger resides in the liver. And that's why the Latin word, the Roman word for anger is vitriol, which literally means liver bile. Anyway, interesting that the Chinese also had the same idea. And so what the healing sound for the liver does is transform those feelings of anger into its positive counterpart. And so the positive counterpart for anger, the way you cure anger, is through kindness. I'll explain a little bit more of that, but let's do the exercise first. Spread your feet out, aim your feet straight forward. Breathe in as you bring your hands up. Again, we've been doing that drawing in the rainbow exercise. And relax completely. Take that extra sip. Make an SH sound. And again, at the bottom of the breath, relax completely. Let that last little bit of air out. Breathe in as you bring your arms up. You can make the hum sound quieter in your mind to help follow the breath in. Make an SH sound. Shh. Breathe in as you bring the hands up. Make an SH sound. If you're particularly angry about something, it helps to shake your head as you make the sound and stomp your feet at the end. <clears throat> Do one more time. Breathe in as you bring your hands up. Make an SH sound. <sighs> Probably my best story for relating the relationship with the, or with the emotions is um, on this anger issue was years ago my wife and I were teaching a class at Metropolitan State University here in Denver and had a student 19 years old and in the middle of the semester suddenly his mother died out of nowhere and this kid was pissed he was angry at his mother for dying he was angry at his father for not knowing something was wrong he was angry at the doctors because they couldn't fix it he was angry at God himself for how could you do this to me? Anyway, make a long story short, that anger got him in trouble one day. He got angry and took a baseball bat to somebody's computer at an office place in downtown Denver. Anyway, that little stunt landed him in Pueblo State Mental Hospital for a two-week psych evaluation. All this is going on. Eventually, he gets out, he comes back to class, and he's missed half the classes. And he goes to my wife and starts begging, you know, is there anything I can do to make it up? I can't afford to flunk this class. I'll lose my financial aid. Can I write a paper? Is there anything I can do to help make this up? And my wife had what I thought was a stroke of genius. She told him the only way he could make it up was to volunteer at the end of the term to help with the Tournament of Champions. This um, kind of special Olympics thing my wife was doing that year with kids with cerebral palsy. And this was cool because you could see the anger just melt off this kid as suddenly he had to show kindness to people less fortunate than himself. He told me afterward how much more proud his mother would have been of him taking his grief out that way and doing something positive than taking it out and getting angry and getting himself in trouble. 
And so I believe when it comes to transforming the emotions, it really does help. And when it comes to, say, somebody recovering from COVID and having lung problems, they got all kinds of emotions going on, and one of them is going to be angry. And so the idea is to take and channel that anger into your meditation. Like we talked about last time, if you want, you can take a singing bowl or tinkshaws or a tape recording of um, ocean waves on the beach and use it to kind of get the frequency right. And then take a breathe in as you bring your hands up. And use the SH sound. Breathe in as you bring the palms up. Take a breathe in long, slow, fine, and deep. Try to completely fill your lungs on the breath in. Completely empty your lungs on the breath out. Two more. Again, that'll give you one more thing to play with with the breathing exercises. On top of that, you can use the Insight Timer app that we talked about that can help time your breaths. Again, a good place to begin is like a 10 second inhale and a 10 second exhale, and then eventually work your way up as your lung capacity improves to as much as 18 year old levels would be 20 seconds in and 20 seconds out. And that Insight Timer app, as well as a lot of other meditation apps, have the ability you can set them and program them to uh, set off a bell every 10 seconds so that it makes it easier to follow the breathing. You can also layer in any kind of music that you like on top of it. Uh, open up your Pandora or your Spotify and on top of that you can layer in a little Grateful Dead or you can layer in some nice meditative music in the background. Whatever your particular interest is, the idea is to keep it interesting enough to hold the mind long enough to get into that meditative state first and most immediately, and also make it interesting enough over a long period of time to keep up the breathing exercises long enough to make a difference in your breathing. The biggest problem that respiratory therapists have with the breathing exercises is compliance. And so it helps to have lots of different techniques to make it interesting. And so try that, especially if you've got a particular day that you're angry about something. If you can't think about anything to be angry about, just listen to, listen to talk radio and politics for a while. That ought to do it. <laughs> and practice the SH sound. And you'll notice that that greatly helps in terms of calming you down and being able to put these things in perspective. Thanks again, and we'll catch you next time, folks.